Speaking at the White House, President Trump made a series of false allegations last night that a count of legally cast ballots would show him winning the presidency. The comments have really spread like wildfire online, even though they're not necessarily true, with Twitter flagging the president's tweets and Facebook now banning a large group called Stop the Steal. With that in mind, News for Jackson anchor Bruce Hamilton is putting some of the president's claims to the trust index. There's tremendous amount of litigation generally because of how unfair this process was. And I predicted that. I've been talking about mail-in voting for a long time. It's, uh, it's really destroyed our system. It's a corrupt system. And it makes people corrupt even if they aren't by nature. But they become corrupt. The president spent months raising doubts about mail-in ballots without offering any supporting evidence. In terms of security, both mail-in ballots and absentee ballots are paper ballots, hand-marked by the voter, which the National Conference of State Legislatures considers the gold standard for election security. We were winning in all the key locations by a lot, actually. And then our numbers started miraculously getting whittled away in secret. And uh, they wouldn't allow legally permissible observers. The president brings up two points there. First, while Mr. Trump initially led in several states, those tallies largely included in-person Election Day votes, which skewed toward President Trump. Now we're seeing vote totals swing in the opposite direction because Biden supporters have dominated mail-in voting two to one. It's nothing miraculous, just math. On the other point, the president's campaign has filed lawsuits over access to ballot counting locations in Michigan, Nevada, and Pennsylvania. The suits in Michigan and Nevada were quickly dismissed, but a judge in Pennsylvania did rule observers had the right to be within six feet of the ballot counting operation in that state. There are now only a few states yet to be decided in the presidential race. Uh, the voting apparatus of those states are run in all cases by Democrats. The secretaries of state in Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Arizona are Democrats. But Georgia's governor is Republican, and so is the secretary of state, who is overseeing the election. He's even praised election officials in Fulton County, one of the Democratic strongholds driving the Biden surge in the Peach State. Nevada's Secretary of State is also a Republican. There's also no evidence any of these officials have taken partisan action in the election. Many of the president's claims lack evidence, which he would need to provide for much of his speech to be considered true. Senator Marco Rubio tweeted overnight, if a candidate believes a state is violating election law, they have a right to challenge it in court and produce evidence in support of their claims. Until that happens, the president's claims, according to the Trust Index, are not true.